ブレニュー。ブレニューヘロヘロあ、now it should be working nice あ、ah,、hello everybody mm. oh I'm kind of excited jump scaring oh come on Orion I had to unmute myself one point or another <laughs> Oh, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? And welcome, yeah, to、um, Friday Night Fighting Encore. The reboot version. The Netflix adaptation that no one's going to like. And we'll farm your cryptocurrency. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Alright. I'll be just waiting for five more minutes till everything is going to start. And in the meantime, we'll be all just messaging in Labs server in the meantime. SK tournament games and whatnot. Yes, yes.、Um, I just like message it around real quick.、Uh, Mint for signing up. Oh, shut up, Vicky. I'm not bad. Come on. Alright. Uh, Biggie seated last. Oh, do I need to change the seat again? Oh, God. No, Biggie, you're not going to be bottom. I'm going to put you between back and lap or some, or some crap. <laughs> Alright.、Um, how's everybody's Friday been doing? I hope very good. Oh. Also, it's going to be like very freaking annoying to switch around like、um, challenge. And Twitch for me because challenge doesn't work on my browser anymore. Ever since I created this like Friday night fighting on Croc community, it literally breaks the browser. I do not know why. And、uh, where to pick you, Biggie? Uh, um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. That should be alright. Let's check the bracket real quick. Uh, Ooh, new. Oh, follow me. Wait. What the frick? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. I hope everybody likes my stream alert thingy. It's. <laughs> oh.、Uh, wait, actually, let me like open Twitch right here. I swear, if someone signs up later than 10, like, um, um, later after like the time I like mentioned or something. That'll be sad. I don't want to like do this all the time. This is annoying. Ah.、Oh. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. How do you get that thing on the bottom? Oh, um, Phalanx, how you, um, you're right. How do you get that thing on the bottom? And、um, the scrolling text, it's just a thing that you can add in OBS. It's basically, yeah, just add a regular text, just type in some funny things. And when you add a filter on that, then you are able to、uh, move it around from left to right or right to left and vice versa or whatever. I know the top thing. Actually, I want to see like, something really cool.、Um, right, right, right. I can, I can change things around a bit. Look at this. It should be changed now, I think. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> I know, right?、Uh, yeah, I mean, I could like give it to you like later after the stream. I didn't want to like tell you about this so early on because I thought it was like a cool surprise for everybody, you know? Oh, also, don't forget the cool label. The Fanini label. <laughs> oh. Alright. <laughs> I try to put even more things into it in the future, so. I hope everything will be exciting for everybody.、Um, Alright.、Uh, two more minutes. Let's see if someone else joins. I hope I'm going to fix this like, challenge issue pretty soon.、Uh, but I'm very happy that also like, Mr. Peck and whatnot just joined in. 
which was is actually quite an honor. Wait, wait, did somebody? Um, 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 um. Okay, I'm just like checking everything. Please understand my nervous behavior for a bit. I need to take myself um, busy right here. All right. Ah, Mister Beko. We are ten people. We're ten people. The ten the people. Ooh. All right, one more minute. One more minute until I am going to get reckless. Just talk about random stuff. Actually, let me put on my stream on Twitch.com. I mean on Twitter.com. Yes. <laughs> Streaming Friday night fighting. No. The revival. Come join and was a bit um a bit too late, but hey anyway. I know right, school gods music is just very good. Ugh. Alright, alright. Um, okay, I'll be now starting the bracket. So, everybody. Oh yeah, before everybody just goes into their like matches and whatnot, please do not start until I like send people into the lobby and whatnot. I hope you guys understand. Or else I'll like not follow up and I have nothing to show on the stream. Um, alright. Biggie, I, I do not tolerate any mean words here in the chat. It's, it's, uh. Right. Um. Da, 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 da. I think the bracket is alright. I think the seeding is okay. It's okay, Biggie. I trust you. Alright, let's start. Uh, 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 uh. Let's put on some Skogarts music for now. Because I planned on like using uh, stream like music um, playlist and whatnot I wasn't really like sure what to like use and if they're like really good in the first place so I'm still like working on that oh all right um, yeah free slots of course I'm now streaming and all right welcome everybody to Friday Night Fighting Encore with me Merc and I hope everybody will enjoy everything. Oh. Oh. Uh, are you winning some? Yes, we'll be winning in a bit. Okay, uh, let me just set up everything. Um. Tourney. Uh. Just. Started. Let me check who I'm going to get actually in a bracket for now. Um. I want to write an best. Why not? I can like commentate that probably. Um, just going here real quick. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, wait, what? What happened? In fact, did you just like joined in like? Oh my- no, Lumen! Are you serious? I'm not going to- I'm not going to remake the freaking tournament! Oh my- oh. Why are you doing this to me? Alright, alright, let me just- oh, let me just fix it. I have to fix this on my phone, so I hope you are happy. I hope you are happy. How do I fix it? You know, I was like prepared for this stuff, and now you come in. You can okay. How um, how do I do that lab? How do I reset the bracket? I'm so sorry. Uh, settings. Let's see. Um. 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 Uh, 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 um. Yeah, we be like having a bit of delay, guys. I'm really sorry with that. Oh, thank you, Lumen, for following me and joining so freaking late. I swear. Okay. Um. Let's see, right. Um, we need to like, 
um, last lab real quick about restarting. How do I restart? Also, thank you, Ryan, for following. All right. Uh, there we go. Advanced options, maybe? Bracket. <gasps> There's a bracket. I shouldn't do it. Reset! Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think I did it. I think I did it. Did I? Let me check real quick. Bracket. No, 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 wait. It should be alright, alright? Let's see. Uh, bracket. <laughs> yeah, now we can join! Okay, Lumen, join. Join. SG. One last time to join. Now! Oh! Lumen, why you challenged me at the freaking beginning? I, I can't- what? No, you can! I open it up! It should be open! Yeah, lab, sell them! <laughs> Give me more time to do a hygiene questions for McDonald's, Rack. Video. Did you apply for McDonald's? What do you mean? I did like free time. Let me refresh it as well. If it's so weird. I can't make everybody waiting, Luan. Come on. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, I'm going to start a tournament. Lumen, did you just made it? Did you make it? Uh, I cannot find you in the list, Lumen. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Lumen. I'm sorry. I cannot t keep everybody waiting. Uh, Alright, let me just load it up real quick. And yeah, now officially start. There we go. Dude, Lumen, I cho I message everybody. No, it's you it's your fault. It's not mine. It's me. Alright, let, let's start everything. Let me just get like best Rhino real quick and we're gonna have a jolly good time. How about that? Uh Best and Rainer. It's good. Alright, everybody else is able to play, of course. And, um, yeah. Alright, with that said, let's go. Oh, this will be quite interesting. Um, yes, yes, you guys can just, like, play around till at the very end, where I also, like, um, at round three, where every game will be streamed. So, um, yes. I want you can also is able to play. Wait, let me also like message this. Two is able to play to we be we be streaming everything at round three. And in the meantime, we'll just like see how things are going to go. And right, best solo world fortune against Rhino with Parasol and double. Let's see how this is going to go. Very interesting because Ryan has usually a very passive like player in general. He was able to like approach very nicely, but Bass is just like the epitome of just like being defensive. He will use everything to just like go that passive. But now finally Ryan are actually going in very slowly, getting Bass into the corner, but with the HHP just like going to counter into his BMB. Probably for one more reset, but we'll see. Okay, best going to spend some bar in order to get power so but very close <gasps> going to ship out Oh boy, I think you could have like switched out anyway But yeah, um, why not going in with double couldn't do much work against best at the beginning sadly Which is kind of unfortunate. It is very hard to like break breaking up best especially with like standing HP Oh no into the corner why not is going to play around with some resets and going to use the chainsaw once more. Oh my god. But Ryan is sitting with three bars, so maybe some escaping might happen with that. Oh god, both of them tiptoeing around, and it might actually be it for Rhino right here. Can it actually kill? With one meter? 
Yeah, that's actually it. Man, that's a lot of damage. Also, what am I doing? I need to like change something real quick. Oh, uh, and fast nine. Uh, there we go. Now we change the name to that. All right, but game goes. Game one goes to best right here. Very interesting, um, like beginning. I mean, also by very quickly, to be honest. But then again, you need to adapt, especially against like someone who zones very hard against you. Oh god. But alright, um, game two, everybody. We see how everybody will think. Oh, let's actually switch things around for quick. What? There we go. And Bass already going in with his BMB, trying to do for a reset, but gets blocked in and gets saved with the beam. Orion are finally approaching and finishes off with a level 1 right here. Into the air grab reset, dragging Bass slowly into the left corner in order to get some burst baits, maybe. Actually, resets again with a low crouching kick. Ooh, into double. Oh, I tried to for a burst bait, but couldn't do it. Best trying to do the helicopter move to get out and getting right into the left corner right here and actually follows up with a level 3. This could actually maybe finish off Parasol right here with one more reset. Oh, but Jin go with the meat. <gasps> oh god, yeah, the freaking chainsaw. Best likes this like, move way too much and finishes off Reina's Parasol right here. Alright, double into the corner with just one buck compared to Bast with almost five. Just one more reset or something, it can actually be it, which is just scary. Bast not be spending any bar is making some threatening decisions. And Rhyna falling up finally into the corner right here. Oh, but it got escaped. Oh no. Which can be a bit deadly, but it can actually finish off Bast right here. Oh, best probably be regretting not spending any meter whatsoever. Yeah, I think that's actually true. Why not give best a bit too much space? To be honest, but finally actually got the thing going. Oh, very nice game too, to be honest. Oh. Alright. Mm. Oh. But yeah, Bass needs to adapt a bit in this kind of situation because why not going to see you standing heavy punch from a mile away right now? It is a funny button. It is a funny button. But man, this is just like... Alright, but now, um, game 3 coming off right here. Finally, Bass getting some space. And why not going in with level 1, but Bass expecting that. Best knows some of the basic things that you could do to anti zone. Oh, getting the dump, which is risky, and will be eating a full BMB right here. Ooh. Best not really known for doing lots of resets. Oh, snaps and actually Parasol. Eating a bar for that. And it might actually be it for Parasol right here as well. Ooh, no. Oh, does it hit? Oh, it does! With a free hat! Right now with the bar advantage right here, but also already used the drones. Maybe going for a reset. Into the grab reset on ground. Couldn't follow up and using a standing heavy punch. This button. You should not... Oh, you should not get away with this. This is just a pure robbery. Right now sitting with four bars right here. And Bass probably using... Yeah, just using all the bars right here. Probably trying to zone out Reiner for now at the very end. We're trying to get some footing, but that's about it. Best be cleaning off like this without almost no damage whatsoever. Oof. Man. Game 2 was a bit better in that kind of situation. A standing heavy punch is so good versus double because he has, mul has no multi yet. Alright, that's actually true. Double really has none. I forgot about that usually. Oh, but that button. It's. It is a good one, but it can also create like bad habits. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but anyway, um, game four, everybody. Game four, everybody. Oh. Uh, let me just like swap around real quick. 
All right, both of them tiptoeing around in neutral right here. Actually, wait, Reiner switching to solo double right here. Very interesting. Bast getting some time to actually get a head out and just jumping around like a lunatic. But getting himself into the corner by accident actually follows up with the crouching medium kick. Into the right for as we said, but <laughs> Reiner already read it. And drags Bast into the corner right here with another reset. Crossing it up with like a low kick and a freaking Avery. Trying again with like a ground gr um, ground throw. Oh no. Oh. Into the corner right here. Bass is probably trying to throw some resets into the air throw. Oh no. Just eats a lot of damage. Tried for another one. Could have probably been almost enough. Why are trying to get a footing again? Oh, I tried to go. Oh, that's actually safe with the mine. But gets the ground grab right here against Bass. It might actually be it if one of them gets like one more combo probably with like the three bars they have. Why not going for the offensive but Bass going- <gasps> No, didn't even use the bar. Alright, it could have like killed Eva Ray I think. No, don't drop it or else it will be quite a bad taste. What? And shipped out. Oh wait, this is solo. There are two rounds. Man, this is so intense. This is actually a long game. A bass confirms, but wasn't ready for that. Why not going to try to go some zoning right here? Who knows? Ooh, finishing off bass and finally both of them getting into round two. Why not eating that much damage doing that? Try to go for the chainsaw again. Bass be a bit nervous. And falling up with a level five. Oh god. Using all the meter to make Reiner afraid about his presence right here. But Reiner himself also having five bars. Ooh. Yes, finally, Reiner actually going in. He needs to stick up with the resets or else this might be the end for him. <gasps> oh, Bass trying to do standing heavy punch again. What a evil, evil button, honestly. Such a bad habit. But Reiner getting some damage in, but it's not going to finish. If Reiner is not able to... Like, approach right here, right now. It might be the end for him, and yeah, it could also be right here. Does it actually kill? Yeah, yeah. Bass is rarely dropping anything. Oh, how close. And that's it with the set. Free run for Bass. What a nice victory. Oh, boy. Yeah, could have done like the car probably. It's like, oh man, I'm doing like full force, just like finishing everything off, you know? But thank you, like, Reiner and Bass for like playing. That was a very nice performance for both of you. Oh. And now, let's see who's else actually playing. Let me just refresh um, challenge real quick. If we can get a glimpse of everything that's going on. Um. Oh, someone pinged me. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We've started. There we go. Oh, nothing happened. Also, um, I try to keep an eye out on the Discord channel as much as possible. It's just like a bit like multitasking shenanigans for me for the first time. So I hope it's alright. Alright. Um, let's see. Biggie and Orion probably still be playing. Hmm. I'd probably wait um, till Biggie and Orion is finished and we can like see who else is going to play with Sinclair right here, which will be quite interesting to see. Mm, there we go. Oh, but all right. Um, I hope everybody has a good time right now. I'll be like doing a big feedback analysis and whatnot at the very end. So, um, don't worry if you guys have already, like, any vicious complaints or whatsoever, or critiques. Critiques. Critiques, not critics. That's a different word. Work. Um, alright. Oh, it was actually kind of a nice game. Like, Ryder was adapting very slowly against Bast. But then again, it's a bit of a, like, weird matchup when you have to, like, deal with the chainsaw. It is like a cheesy, like, um, escape tool, in my opinion. In most cases. Oh. 
and overall Bast is just a very defensive, very patient and like um, player. He doesn't have that much going on with like resets, that's for sure. But he does like to just manage meta and resources in general. That's his kind of like kick that he has. <laughs> oh boy. Mm, Alright. Let's just check here real quick. Uh, wait, does round 2 have some time before playing? I haven't finished dinner. Um, round 2 is able to play. Of course. It's just that if you're like delaying everything and you're like not there to like, um, let's say like um, 5 minutes or like 10 minutes and it can be like a bit annoying. I have like any like um, rules set in stone for this right now, so um, you should like ask your opponent about this like very firstly, of course, in order to like make everything right and stuff. Uh, all right, let's reset challenge real quick. Um, Lab and Casper also finish the game right here. All right. Oh, and um, little reminder, if someone has not um, read a challenge um, real quick in round 3, semifinals will be streamed, every single one of them. So please do not go ahead yet. Robo matchup, it's still so hard for me with Para. Oh, I mean, it's like just player experience. You did way better with Double at the very end, which is a very close game right now, don't get me wrong. Was a lot of fun to like to watch. Uh, mm, I should probably dash, dash and block. Yeah, yeah, Barasa is a really good dash. It's very quick. Uh, Alright, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, you guys have not started. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, at lab. No, I mean at um, pack. And, um, best. If you guys haven't started yet. Sorry, St. Clair. I, I want to provide some more enjoyment right here. Yeah, Biggie and Orion still playing, probably? I'm not sure. What's going on? Okay, good. And um, Pekka already joined. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. There we go. Uh... I don't want to like um, ping um, Biggie and Orion at the moment. Wait. Wait, Orion! What, what the frick? Um, Orion is actually typing right here. Oh, my stupid. Uh. Mm. Alright. Um, I'll be setting this after this one set right here. Mm, okay. But yeah, Mr. Pack against Fast. Two Zonas right here. One is hella defensive with Robo, the other one is a freaking tactician. And credit just explosion. Please check it out on Steam. Ooh. Uh, but alright. Actually let me just like set up everything. You said Mr. Pack and Vast. There we go. But now, round one, Peck actually playing his full team against Bass. Finally seeing some Peacock and Robo action again. This will be quite interesting. Because I'll be wondering how Bass is actually getting into this as solo Robo. It's going to be such a crazy matchup. Because right now, the age speed is just like keeping like Bass around. And already like using a level one before Bass can do anything. Best trying to go with the helicopter move. Also before that. But there's almost no spot for that. Oh god. Pack continue with the, with the H bang. Heavy H bang. And finishing off with level 3. Oh god. That was really quick. Jeez. Oh my god. Alright, best left. What happened? What happened? Uh, wait, uh, best, 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 what happened? 
Lovey crashed. Wait, really? No, the lobby's fine. What do you mean? Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, first game goes to Mr. Peck, of course. Oh, man, what crazy and, like, really strong zoning that is. God. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to do, like, all the tricks that I, like, and learned and whatnot. And then you realize this person you're, like, facing made literally these kind of, like, <laughs> freaking zoning patterns and whatnot and things and finally game one trying going in fast trying to get his footing right here because there won't be that much zoning for him at this point like this actually best trying to get in slow you are back getting countered with the air grab right here oh god almost trying to get with a reset right here oh with the overhead oh that's actually so disgusting to watch or trying to item drop Ooh, and getting Bass still in space right here. Finally, Bass getting in with his VMV right there. Who knows? Will he go with actually like a level 3? Yeah, I expect it. So getting like Peacock off right here would be like the best choice. But still not finished yet. And Mr. Peg using his level 1 to get Peacock safe a bit. Oh, never mind. Just like seeing how do things go. But now Robo versus Robo right here. This would be very interesting. Peck going for more ground approach right here and gets through the chainsaw armor. Goes in with a low kick reset as well, getting Bass into the corner. Oh, getting maybe with like the H beam combos right there. Does that actually finish? No, does not. Okay, Mr. Peck getting step by step into Bass right here. That might actually be it. Oh boy. Wait, yeah, level 4 does finish, right? Yeah, yeah, it will. Oh, Mr. Peck waiting for Bass to action at the very end with the Napalm Pillar assist. Oh, just analyzing Bass like some kind of like new object. He's just like playing around. Oh, but yeah, game 2 goes to Mr. Peck right here. Just storming through. Really nice to like see um, him play his full team again. Well, um, to like learn a matchup, of course, because it is very hard to deal with. And probably a very nice experience for Bass as well, in the learning terms. Oh. Ooh, but Bass did like way better in the second game. Way, way better. He, he realized that he couldn't like, just like play very passively overall. And it just wasn't like the thing that he was able to go through. But yeah, game three right here. Bass... Getting full screen again and gets a bit on um, away from like um, approaching. There we go. Yeah, Pack just like continuing with like usual like zoning routine right here. Daring Bass by approaching with the item drop. Ooh. And Bass trying to get any kind of footing whatsoever. The H beam is get <laughs> spinning down Bass so easily. Oh no. Bass trying to get through something, but the item drop again, just like giving Bass so much pressure, and it might also be it again. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, game three goes to Mr. Pack. Oh, and I forgot to switch around. Damn it. Oh boy. Crazy. Yeah, thank you both of you for like playing. Man, that was such a game. Jeez. I wonder if, like, Robo has, like, any chance soul to, like, even approach this. Like, Mr. Peck was already, like, pinning down Bass, like, so well. And it wasn't, like, even half of his, like, a tool box of tricks and whatnot. But then again, Bass be reaching his levels sometime in the future. It'll be alright. Bass is actually, like, a very, um... Um... How's oh, okay? How can I say? Like, very consistent, like, player in general with Robo, which is very interesting. Oh, all right, let's see who else is actually playing. Mm, let's check Skogal's matches right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who else be playing? Who else be playing right here? Uh, hmm. Is Sinclair and Biggie be playing, actually? Let's see. 
Ah, they're still playing, still playing. Okay, okay. Um, hmm, they're probably just like waiting for... Um, what's it called? Like round three to start. Alright, but you can also like check out how Losers is starting. Or like going on, I mean. I hope Losers is still playing. Oh god, oh please. I I think I like mentioned it like clearly, right? I think so. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, also please um, put in the scores. So I can get a glimpse of everybody. Going in. Mm. All right, Baspi and losers. Let's see. Mm. It's kind of hard to like catch <laughs> games, to be honest. Like sets, I never like realized this kind of challenge right here. I mean, I could be talking like twenty four seven, but it would probably be like a bit boring. Oof. Oh boy, but let me like reset everything right here. Da, 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 da. There we go for the next match. Alright. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mm, let's see. Alright, Rhina and um, Casper also finally finished off. Let's see how the score went down. Hmm. Let's uh, see. I'll probably try and get them to play. Or oh, I'd like one of them to play once it's done so. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. But yeah, in the meantime, um, how are you guys doing? Uh, how, how, how are you guys like um, Friday evening? It's good? It's great, right? <laughs> I'm out of topics, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but a tiny bit. A tiny bit. I could tell you like a dumb story. But it'd probably be like a bit boring or like stupid. Mm. Actually, why not? It's my stream. Um, so basically... Yesterday, I had vocational school. It's basically like, um, like, um, school lessons and whatnot for, like, my apprenticeship and whatnot here in Germany. And <laughs> during school, we had, like, a break. And I had my sandwich. Whatnot. It was, like, outside. And there were, like, some seagulls and whatnot. Just, like, trying to, like, get some bread and whatnot. And I didn't mind it them that much. And, um, overall, while I was, like, eating, just, like, relaxing for a bit, it was, like, quite a long day, there was, like, a seagull, which all of a sudden just, like, came from behind and literally tried to snack down my sandwich from my hand. And I was, like, so shocked and, like, so angry about this that I, like, punched it by accident. And it fell on the ground and I felt bad. And like walked away or something. I did not know what happened to the seagull at the very end. But I was like so freaking shocked and angry at the same time. Feelings are weird, right? Oh god. Alright, let's see. I hope the story was kind of entertaining. Ugh. I know, right? They're like, there's so many freaking things. Freaking seagulls. Like, come on, let's pick up the bread or some crazy stuff. Literally came to my hand. I was like, no. And I, I hit it. I, I thought, I think I didn't hit it that hard. I think it was acting. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I just like turned around like, Fah! it was scary. Don't jump scare me while I'm like tired and just like eating. It was like, um... Oh, I don't know, like, 3 p.m. or something, like, already, like, so many things happened. And it was, like, a bit annoying. Ugh. Man. Wait, did Biggie and Sinclair already, like, finished up, actually? 
Da, 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 da. Are they still playing? Jeez. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay. Uh. Right. Uh. Big Mesa Future Sarah. Biggie and Orion um, are still playing. So. If one of those people are going to be finished, I'll be like streaming them for sure. Yes. Uh, let me just move it right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. Usually, like games like these, um, it's Fangs and Orion, right? Right, right, right. Oh, I, I didn't like read uh, the full name. And they're playing Sinclair still. Yes, they still are. Alright. Like, usually, like, um... Man, I talk about Bass quite a lot today. Bass usually, like, it takes a long time of, like, finishing off sets. So I'm, like, still surprised that it kind of, like, takes a bit long. Round 3 is ready to be streamed? What? What? Just finished. Um... Yeah, but I also, like, trying to, um, lose us as well. Yeah, actually, you're right. I can just, like, um, start with, like, the other people. Um, I would like to stream... Yeah, come on. Like, first of all, Mr. Pack and um, Big Ben Pool 69. It's magic, right? Yeah, it is magic. It's, like, his old name. Uh, uh, magic. Uh, I know, right? And Pecko. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I was, like, not really, like, sure of, like, the stream delay right here. Yeah, we are really behind. Holy crap. Like, time flies by. What the frick? All right. Yeah, losers continue till round um, 44. <laughs> 44. Um, 34. No, round 3. Oh no, I thought it was- Oh, I'm stupid. Wait, 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 no, 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 it was Alex. Oh no. Oh, damn it. I- I- <laughs> I was stupid with the names. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh. No. Wait. Oh. Wait, let me just, like, add Alex right here in the thing. I cannot add Alex somehow. Anyway, they're here. Sorry, Magic. Alright. Let's just start. Let's just start. We're like really freaking behind. Ah. But now two Juggernauts are playing tonight. Peck and Alex be going around town right here. Also, if this stream is like the tournament is going like a too much behind. Then I might like decide that everybody can like play and continue, but I'm not sure yet. But anyway, Mr. Peck and Alex be playing. Alex be playing Bill Band. There we go. All right. Oh, and getting Alex with the air grab right around the corner with the H speed sticking around, trying to go for the reset with the item drop. Ooh, okay. Oh, going underneath Alex and continue the combo right here. Oh, one more. Oh, try to continue with the item drop right here, but finally gets zoned out with the age press and Alex can some space. But finishes off Beowulf so quickly already. Alright, Alex be sticking with his big brand right here. And oh gets the robo assist, but couldn't get Peacot at all. Gets rumbled into the VMV right here. Oh, let's see. Oh, try to go underneath with the sweep and with the light shot. But gets probably finished off by Alex with a level 1 right here. No, never mind. Actually gets him into the corner. Ooh, wondering why he didn't finish at all. But now, finally, Pex Peacock getting down and facing Bobo right here into the corner. Peck with two bars and also Alex as well. Oh, it catches him off with anti-air. Oh, didn't jump? Oh, I tried to go with the beat accent. 
Oh, and gets finished off with Vista Pax Power, so right here. Oh. There we go. Oh, actually, like, type, let me type in the names real quick. Game 1 goes to pack right here. There. Oh, boy. That was, that was also, like, in terms, like, a very fast match, to be honest. Like, in game, I mean. All right, no changes in the teams of Alec from Alex's side. And we go back into game two right here. Back trying to go in instantly. Ooh, trying to get some aggression right here. Alex tiptoeing through Peacock and finally gets back into the corner, into the Beo Band mix-ups right here. Trying to go for a dash reset, but couldn't really continue right there. And getting himself a bit into the corner, but never mind. Actually falls up with the Wolf Blitz and might be able to finish off Pax Peacock. Which should be? Uh, using some hype? Oh, and finishes off with the chair right there. I was a bit I'm like wondering. Getting himself some hype and trying to go for the high Wolf Blitz and getting caught, getting caught um, off guard by Mr. Peck right here. Almost got Big Band as well with the BMV. Oh, I tried to go for the double jump reset. Alright there, Alex be trying to use his armor to get a grips on the Robo Fortune right there. Used some high, but couldn't get one. Couldn't go through. Oh, that makes himself safe. With the level one. Might as well finish off. Yeah, that's it. Robo be done. Mr. Peck be left with parasol only but it's not like peck's least strong um strongest character there so no worries about that all right alex trying to get through h press and his armor moves right there oh gets caught off by mr peck right there no oh but still a very healthy big man right here both of them having one bar each and trying to go for the air approach Alex B again getting with the beat extent with the DP oh and the overhead that might actually be it for Mr. Peck right there yes game two goes to Alex with a nice comeback right there oh like the neutral general at the beginning went um pretty even Peck getting in with like the level 3 almost, finishing off Beowulf, but then getting his grip back with solo big band. Oh god. Sinclair already like <laughs> spectating the match right there, just cheering on for Alex. <laughs> Alright, game 3 everybody. Oh, trying to get in and throwing out the chair right away. Peck trying to read how things may go and actually goes in with the item drop. Getting some damage on big brand. Oh, getting some space with the edge beam, and it might actually go in. Oh, the armor right away gets Mr. Peck off guard. Both of them trying to get the footing to, like, get any combo whatsoever, and Alex finally getting in, trying to go for the reset into the Wolf Fang command grab. Oh, but gets himself safe into it right away. Might actually be it for Peacock right there. Yes, building some hype right there. Alex with free but oh my god with the blitzer confusion getting more fortune right here what the frick what was that anyway um they were bad mix up in the corner we love them we hate them and it might be actually it for robo fortune right here oh god it is holy moly what was that hype remix i'm so Oh, I'm so still. Mr. Peck getting in, trying to get his toes back into the game right here. But gets sweeped away and gets in with the level 1 air grab super. Confirms again with the wolf blitz from above. Oh, gets dropped a bit. Oh, gets used with the level 3 impact, trying to go for the offensive, finally getting Alex right there. Oh, let's see. Oh, underneath reset right there. But not finishing off. <gasps> oh my god. With the fast switch finishing off pack with the level 1 big band. Oh boy. That was crazy. What was Alex doing? <laughs> like when like Robo dropped in just like wolf blitzing around like crazy. <laughs> what the frick?
I was like, oh, just like spending like one by one accident, like of hype, no biggie, just like happens, I guess. Oh god. Anyway, game three, everybody. Alex ahead with two games compared to Peck right there. But Peck finally getting some. Um, what's it called? Like zoning right there. Oh, but being very careful. Getting to know Alex's pattern maybe quite a bit. Goes for the ground, like, grabs and gets caught off with the level one. Like, air grab. Oh. Oh, both of them. oh, gets both of them right here with level one. Some decent damage right there. Oh, Peck trying to get some ground again from the corner pressure from both of them. And finally gets Alex's bear right there. Probably need like one more reset to finish off with like some super. Oh, getting some damage in. Okay. Oh, and to Robo level one. Alright, switching off some things around and getting some well he wet health getting healed. But Alex not having it, but still get caught off by the chainsaw. No. Alright, Big Man trying to get in against Robo. Mostly considered to be like not a favorable matchup, but gets caught off by Alex with the H step. Getting snapped in Peacock to finish off quickly the gremlin right there. Alright. Alex trying to get in back very nicely with the reset, with the overheads. Oh god. Is this going to finish off Parasol right here actually with some bar? Level 3? Alright, finishing off Parasol real quick and going in with the Robo matchup. Peck trying to get out of there and has some free bars to go in. Going into the install, actually very cool to see. And follows up against Alex. It might actually be it. I think no! Goes into the burst and Alex could not be could not like approach at the very end with the neutral. Damn. Alright, game to goes to Peck. 2-2 two, two for both of them. Getting very consistent with each other's playstyle at the very end. Oh god. So, yeah, he got very close. Oh, if like Alex like parried that, it would have been like scary. Like, I'm slowly approaching you into the corner. Oh. Like, Peck all, uh, like, used all of his bar anyway. So he could like, just cheaply like, um, ship out or something, whatever. But yeah, everybody, like, last game with Peck and Alex, but right? he getting very hyped right here. Alright, Peck already getting a bit into corner, but actually going in with the HP and finally snaps a beer, beer, um, beer band, a <laughs> big band in instantly due to his, like, um, favors against zoning in general and gets both people right here. Peck with no meter, but should be finishing off a bit with the Lenny. Oh, but Alex getting in with the grab right there. Might actually be able to finish Peacock. Oh boy. Went so well for Peck actually with the um, big Lenny. Oh, Peck trying to get himself back into the groove. Gizzy gets checked out. No! Oh, try to counter with Napalm Pillar, but gets caught off guard by Bero. Into the bear with mix ups and getting Peck into the corner. Building some. Oh, no hype building up, but with the wolf blitz mix ups right there. But Peck reading every one of those and getting him into the corner. Probably some resets needed to like finish off bear wolf in general, but gets both of them. Does Peck have to buy? Yes, yes! Snapping in for the happy birthday right here. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. That's it for Big Band. Oh my god, Peck falling up with the missiles from the magnet, which can follow up right away. Oh, trying to go for both armor moves, but Alex finally getting his grip back right here. Couldn't finish, but getting into the Wolfomania level 3 using all his swipe right here. Does it going to finish off like Mr. Peck for Robo Fortune? Not really. Never mind, this can actually fall up into a combo. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Man, Mr. Peck going back in with his peacock against Alex's bear wolf. Oh god. Getting himself into the corner, and it might actually be it for Peck? 
Yes, it actually ended with the level one. Oh my god. That was so crazy. So many things happen. Jeez. Oh, but the set goes to Alex. Really well played for both players. Holy moly. Oh god, it's set going wild. <laughs> What an amazing match! What an amazing set! God, like Alex does like keep up the pressure. But it's also that's just really scary for Mr. Peck in general. Just like Peck isn't sleeping at all. He knows how this pressure works in general. And both of them like played each other like so often, like God, the more familiar you are with like your opponent, the more like crazier things you need to like pull off and like finish everything off. Oh, but um, the second um, was it the second game? Yeah, the second game still with like the wolf flits <laughs> mixed up with like the hype. There was so many. There was still so crazy to for me. Jeez. Oh, all right. Pack going into the losers bracket, but. As we all know, Prag probably like going to fight himself through into the finals right here. All right, let's check in who's like still playing. All right, um, Sinclair and Lab. Yeah, let's go actually. I hope you guys still, still didn't play it. Lab B and Sinclair. Please Oh yeah. All right, both of them joined in instantly. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me just like prepare the status bar real quick. There we go. Reset the score. There we go. Finally, see Sinclair and Lab against each other. Sinclair being known for a really freaking strong Eliza, honestly. And also sad to like play Robo, if I'm not mistaken. I hope. I hope not. Oh, and Lab, of course. The former tournament host of Friday Night Fighting. Going in with the Vero, Robo, and Big Band. And Sinclair going with Double and Robo right here. Game one, everybody. Sinclair trying to go for like a more tiptoe approach. And finally already gets Lab's Vero right here. Oh, going in for the reset underneath right there. And getting segment armor. Yeah, trying to make Lab show that he needs to respect those freaking skeleton moves and gets him off guard again and finishes off Barrowed and getting the nom nom for some nice health. Sinclair barely getting any damage whatsoever and getting the Wobble Forge already into the corner with the ground reset, the throw. Oh, but gets blocked and tries. Oh, yes, and with the big man level one getting Sinclair into the corner finally. All right, let's see how lap goes. With the ground grab, uh, grab reset right here. Getting into the burst bait. And it might actually be it for Sinclair right here already. Ooh, but now going in with the double. Sinclair's like second strongest character. That's for sure. And getting into the pressure against Big Ben. Into the fortune heads already. Pinning him down with like the H beams and finally getting him into the corner. Blocked it. Ooh, and baiting out two bars. Both of them not even like having any bar whatsoever. Forgot about that. Actually, Sinclair like having one right here. Oh, and gets both of them. This is gonna be some match. It might actually finish off Robo, but no, never mind. Oh, and Big Bang gets finished off with the pistol shot. Oh, into the ground. Lab needs to be tiptoeing himself around against Sinclair like right here. Pretty difficult against like the HP, but finally gets double right here. But try to go for the reset, but blocks it. Okay, both of them into a neutral state. But never mind. Actually, Sinclair like going in for the jumping medium punch and finishing off with a combo. Very flashy, very fast. Lab hasn't respected the skeleton and ate his bear, their bear wolf of their most uh, like, um, Strongest characters right there. Damn. All right. Oof. We'll see how game two is going to be and how Lab is going to adapt to that. Singler is like not afraid to throw out the skeleton at all. So we'll see how this may going to change. 
All right, no team changes, no um, team orders change whatsoever. All right, let's go for game two. Sinclair trying to go for the DP and gets caught off guard by Barrow with, uh, into the corner already. This is what Lab is known for, some Bayo ban shenanigans. Trying to go some some resets again. Yes, the crouching light kick already. And it might actually be it already for Sinclair's Eliza. No, didn't spend any bow, okay. But still was able to pull everything off. And fishing off. God, yeah, Sinclair trying to get her footing back with the H beam, trying to pinpoint Lab. And getting in with the ground grab right here. Oh, it goes with the resets already. Oh, I tried to go side switches. Did it block? No, it didn't block. And left be using all the meter to get some nice damage on Robo and Double. But already gets picked up already. Oh, tried to go for the reset. And all the kid might actually be able to finish off Lab's Robo right there. Oh, switch back to Lord Wattack. Okay, well, I'm getting some space right there. Oh, and Lab actually going from behind with the Wolf Blitzer and finishing off double, remaining with Robo right here. Sinclair needs to be playing a bit careful, but already gets into the corner right here with the Bayo Bands mixtures. Oh, but finally, Sinclair getting in with her BMB right here. Might actually be able to finish off Bayo with a level 3. No, didn't consider. I did for the jumping medium punch. It gets finished off with level 1 of Big Ben and Bear Wolf. Damn. Game 2, everybody. This is so fast to freaking commentate. Jesus Christ. I need to drink something. Mmm. Mm. Green tea. Lovely. Whew. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Oh, they are so strong. Lab. Their team. Jeez. Oh, all right. Let's see um, if any such rules are gonna happen. No, both of them like still sticking with the team, strong and loyal, going into game three. Everybody going for a very neutral approach. No one trying to go in instantly. Olaf trying to go for some level one into the corner already. Oh god, into the breastbait. Lab, they're like going so strong with the reset and it already finishes off Sinkless Eliza. No. Definitely what oh no, actually didn't finish off. Sinkler going in? Oh, it wasn't invincible at the very end and finishing off the skeleton right here. Oh, but finally getting into the ground reset with the grab and getting Lab. Finally into the corner, getting some damage, and because as we all know, Lab's power is going through Barrel. Oh, but cancelled with the hype, like the um, the armor right here. Please some hype right there, and spending it. All right, Lab with the frame adventure and finishing off probably. No, it didn't finish off double. Oh, and goes with the save for. Oh, it actually gets Lab. With the magnet! What the heck? <laughs> finally putting down Lab into their place. Jeez. Oh, that's punishable. That's punishable. The war tag. Seems like going to get some damage right here and getting them into the corner. Oh! Going to... Oh no, let's finish off double right there. Okay, I think I need to be like very calm about the situation right here. Gets burst baited again and probably gets finished off right away. Oh no. Oh boy. That really hit hard when Double got finished off at the very end. Man. Ooh. Oh man, but Sinclair's Eliza's not shining that much, man. Definitely one of like your strongest. And count it in as a hit during Eliza. Yes, that was so unfortunate with like the neck bite move. Man. Compared to um the singular lab is able to show off their bear wall through and through. Damn. Alright, we'll be going on with game three right here.
Both are trying to go passive right there and with the robo assist. Finally getting in on lap. With some Eliza action. Oh, into the grab reset right there in the air. Sinclair is not called the best EU Eliza player for no reason and gets in against Beowulf. Is it going to finish off Beowulf and gets the happy birthday with Big, Big Ben? No, actually Robo coming in right away, but Big Ben already ate a lot of red hell right there. Into the reset with the over segment. Eliza going in crazy. Finally, Sinclair showing off her power right there and Oh, Lab had almost no time with the red health to gain. Finally getting to use some level 1 super to get himself out of the corner, but Sinclair already coined in with the pressure. God. Such an aggressive playstyle. Yes! And gets in and finishes off Big Band. Holy moly. Man, Sinclair was just waiting to go all out at game 3. Jeez. Oh boy, this just like shows that like both opponents are just like really freaky deadly. It's crazy. Oh god. Oh boy. But yeah, 2-2 two -two for both of them, the final freaking game. Making it very close. Oh, who else is going to in, like is going to <laughs> get in with like the mix-ups is going to probably win or something. Oh, Oh, but both them going to tiptoe and respecting each other's space, but Lab finally getting in with the overhead dash. With the medium punch and getting in with the bail bench mixes. Going with the reset and doing a low kick. Light low kick into the reset. And finally Sinclair getting in some space and looking in what Lab is going to do. Oh, but gets caught off into the corner. That might actually be it for Eliza right here. No! Oh, one of the strongest resources of Sinclair be down and l double be left. Let's see how things are going to go in. Let be still very careful with like the approaches in neutral, but gets in very nicely and frequently. Oh, into the freaking cross up with the air with the um, ground throw right here. Sinclair be rocking some free bars compared to left with only two. And might going to finish off. Yes, finishing off Beowulf might be one of the best things he could do right here. And getting in with the Robo Fortune. Robo Fortune alone isn't too strong, with, uh, but with H Press is usually a force to be reckoned with. But Sinclair not having that, actually going in with full on pressure with the Cat Hats. Sheesh. And switch it out. Try to go for the air H Press switch, but gets caught off by Sinclair right here. Into the air super. Oh no. Oh, but Sinclair not going to take the burst bait right there. Again, trying to go with the burst bait, trying to go with the nervous route. Almost got caught off a level 3 and finally gets in against Lab. This is so close. No, but hey, it's the level 1. I tried to counter the H press, but Lab countering with the level one bear, uh, bear wolf, with the big pan super into the Robo Beam. Oh boy! What a crazy match! I thought actually I think I was able to like get through this. Thank you, uh, both of you, for like playing. That was such a nice match, a nice set in general. God, I need to breathe. Oh boy, I'm probably red or something. <laughs> All right, um, let's continue and um, keep the show on a row. Mr. Peck against Casper right here. All right, um, let's get you guys on a row right there. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, Casper and Peck. All right, Peck, of course, being the old juggernaut in this Skogat's EU community against Casper. Casper. He is kind of a solid um, like player, that's for sure. He has beaten me up like quite well. Oh. Wait, my controller disconnected. That's why Eliza is still, still like that. Oh no! Oh come on! 
people on Twitch that grab your energy. Casper trying to get through against Peck right there. It's gonna be quite a difficult set. Let's just say that for you, Casper. Oh. But wait, is there like waiting a bit for Peck to show up in a bit? I'm always a bit scared of like pinging the wrong people. Like before with magic. I hope magic forgives me. I'm so sorry about that. Oh. I, I I thought it was magic and not Alex. Oh. Alright. Um, it's Casper and Mr. Peck. Yes, yes. Alright. Let me just like set up everything. Mr. Peck. With my cool smoothing um, status bar at the very top of the stream. Ooh. It's so cool. Finally, Mr. Peck joining in against Casper right here against loser semi-finals. That's semi-finals, right? Yes, it is! It is, of course, what I'm saying. Alright. Um, with that said, anything else I should, like, know? No! Finally, the set is going to start. Mr. Peck probably going to rock his full team again. And Casper going in as well. This could be very interesting because I haven't seen Casper and Mr. Peck interact in any kind of capacity. So we see how things are going to go. Alright, Casper going with Parasol Double and Beowulf against Mr. Peck. Peacock, Robo and Parasol. Full teams right here, folks. Alright, and Mr. Peck already going in and snapping in double right array. Interesting. And going in with the zoning game right here and already gets himself into the mix-ups right there. Casper getting slowly into the corner. And it might already be it for a double right there. It's so fast to even like commentate. Damn. Alright, Palosol getting in and gets hit with the overhead item drop almost. Okay, now blocking a bit. Trying to go for the chair right there. And oh god, already getting caught off guard with the low punch. Light low punch. Oh boy. Both players like sitting with like three bars, trying to go for the armored like uppercut, but couldn't get in against Mr. Peck. Into the world roller. Ooh. No, I'm not going to do a Jojo reference. It's over. <laughs> it's over done. But finally, getting in against Casper, and it might actually finish off with the four bar because Peacock is able to excel so well with that. Is it level three? Yes, it is. A perfect. Oh boy, Peck be going hard. Jeez. Do the reference you throw. No, I do not. No. I'm way too cool for that. Oh boy. Yeah, Casper almost had no time after the freaking snap. I was confused why Peck did it, but it just opened up so much like possibility to like a Missoni patterns and whatnot, so it might be understandable. Oh, I'm not saying the line yet, come on. Anyway, game two, everybody. Peck already going in with some zoning pennants and getting in with the item drop into his combos, pinning Casper down. Oh god, already. With the HP. It's really hard to see the like reset. Into the burst. Get does it get hit? No, blocks it. Oh! Oh my god, kicks him into the freaking level one double puddle. Oh god. Finally getting Peck into the corner right here to show off what Casper is made of. Oh, try to go for the ground reset grab. But no, gets caught off guard against Peck. Trying to go, oh my god, with the ground grab. Oh, Pista Peck going to eat some pe some damage on his peacock. Oh, and it might actually be it. Yes, that's it with Mr. Peck's Peacock. But still, what will we already be in? And Casper trying to get some approach into the corner and gets it in. Spending some hype right away. Going for the reset with the low crouching kick. Alright. Oh, with the napalm shots into the air grab reset. Might be able to finish off Robo right away. With the another reach <laughs> reset with the low crouching kick. Alright. But Mr. Peck already sitting in with level... <laughs> 
Oh yeah, using all three of course. It might be able to finish off Bear with wide array. Peck finally getting some space again to set up his strategic race. Alright, yeah, double heating, like some damage. Alright, into the low crouching kick. It's really hard to see with like just Parasol in general. And Mr. Peck going underneath with the freaking dash. And finishing off double. Parasol sitting in with like three bars each of them. Both are quite deadly, but Casper with only half of his health, and that's about it already. A way better second game for Casper, but not be able to finish off Peck's magnificent parasol right here. Ooh. It's hard to say which is like the best character from like Mr. Peck's team. But Parasol definitely got some work in with like <laughs> Peck's solo shenanigans from before. What crazy games. Alright, game free everybody, and I need to breathe. Oh. Mm. Alright, let's go. Getting in with the neutral right there. Getting into the overhead with the jumping crowd um jumping light punch. And snapping in, so Peck gets his pattern with the HP and getting in with the item drop into the corner against double. Tries to go for the overhead but didn't cut off guard. But finally actually gets in. Or oh, switches in with Bear but couldn't fall up. Never mind, actually gets a pack into the corner right there. But the H M H bang tries to connect with that. Oh finally getting packed with the schmixes right here. Let's see what Casper's made of. Into the the, air, um, the grab right there. Oh boy. There we go. And that's going to finish up Mr. Peck's Peacock. Whew. Robo trying to get some space right there with the Napalm Pillar. Right, nice, nice. Peck be walking some... Oh, using some level 1. Is it going to connect? No, actually not spending any more meter. Oh. And <laughs> it's going to connect again. Going to play around with Casper's mentality. Casper be now very careful in approaching. <gasps> Is it going to fit? No, it's not going to hit. A very safe parasol level 1 sniper shot right there. And Peck already using one of his like most famous tips right there. The jumping medium beam, which can be used very frequently, instantly. Alright, blocking it and also getting in with the neutral. Peck is just getting his time right there. Ooh. It, yeah, Peck tries to like just stay into a neutral position with his zoning. And Casper just trying really hard getting in. Especially with like Bill right now. But getting himself into the ground ground throw into the corner. What a nice prediction right there. Ooh, Peck just waiting to see what's going to happen. Oh, tries to go for the grab. Oh, but Casper reading that. And going to get some damage in right here. Try oh yeah, into the reset, into the corner. Might going to finish off Robo right there. Oh boy, Robo is done so. But Peck rocking level 5 in compared to Casper with his level 1 bar right here. But it might going to be it. One more reset and it might actually be done for Mr. Peck. Level 3, finishing off Parasol and maybe double as well? Let's see. Yes, making himself safe with the egrets, and it was going to finish off Casper. No. Oh, let's see. Casper will be trying to get in. Maybe going to in with the car, but no, gets finished off the, with the napalm shot. What a comeback. Peck be staying so calm with that game. GG, what a very nice set. Casper be walking in at the very last second, but couldn't finish off. Whew. Man, <laughs> man, this was quite an intense game, but let me check the challenge real quick. We need to get the show in a row. Boy. Alright, um, let's see who's up next. Alright, Sinclair and... That's Phalanx, right? That's Phalanx. Um, Skogat's Antichrist. Uh, let's see. I cannot see the full name. Because I'm using challenge in challenge. I mean, challenge on my phone. It's fast. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let me go. B -b 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 -b. It's gonna be fast. 
And Sinclair right there. Thank you, Biggie. I'm I need still need to like adjust and see who is going to moderate the chat and whatnot. I might going to need some help. This is kind of tough to manage. <sighs> okay, I need to like have some speaking break real quick. Whew, okay. Mm. Nom 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 nom. Uh. Did I start the game? Oh no! Really? Well, if that's the case, then I'm sorry that I like pinked already. Uh. Damn, since we're like already behind the schedule, um. I think we should like continue with Alex and Lab, probably. If that's the case. Are they like really playing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just like uh, play with Alex and Lab for now. Yeah. I do not want to like keep everybody busy like that. I'm sorry for these like inconveniences right here. Um. All right, uh, Signal is actually responding. Uh. All right, both of them. Never mind. All right, um, both of them just already joined in. I hope. Uh. Just waiting for Bass real quick. Um. Uh, Alright, let's see. Uh, let me just adjust real quick. Sinclair. And best! There we go. The best Eliza player EU versus the solo robo, which gets on everybody's nerves. Let's go, everybody! Actually, it was a mean title. I'm sorry. Best is actually pretty cool. Should guys should like respect him more. <laughs> oh, alright. Oh, I need to reset the stats. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, Singla like going in with her usual team and getting already in against Bass, going full force. Singla like not having anything with that, but is able to get hit by Bass full BMB. Bass probably not going for a reset and going to make sure some sure and nice damage. That's how Bass works. Getting some headphone and predicting the jump with the air throw right here. Sinclair reading Bass move like a book, trying to go for a reset but couldn't fall up. Into another air grab. Oh boy. Into the skeleton right here. Yeah, Bass is unable to use the chainsaw that frequently against Eliza like that. Going in like that. Yes. Oh god. Sinclair is playing like against Bass like a toy, but gets hit again. Oh my god, this might actually finish off. Best, do not drop this. Do not drop this. This might. I oh no! This is such a sad ending. <gasps> this is it. <laughs> wow. Man, I would be really salty if I was her. I, I would have been really salty. But yes, 1-0 for best. The juggernaut. <laughs> the freaking the laser beam person. <laughs> Damn. Eliza went um like Sinclair like, went in for some really good like prediction of like the air throws. Really nice. But Bass caught her off guard with the assist and said, Yeah, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Bass is like some kind of like like Gundam. Like, as a solo robo, it's basically it. She hits like a truck. Like, I mean, it. It hit like a truck. It's a robot, after all. But yeah, um, game two. Game two. Let's see how Sinclair is going to adapt to that kind of situation right here. But still going in strong with the aggression. Tries to go for the chainsaw again, but Sinclair not having that kind of stuff right here because she knows how to deal with robo. Into the cross up nice and smoothly. Going to oh into the burst bite and gets in with against Bass right here, getting almost halfway off his health. <gasps> oh my god, into another reset with that kind of stuff. Sinclair just is sticking with like um skeleton mode. 
Oh, but gets hit a bit and Bass trying to get his foot already. Oh, but gets hit again. It might actually be hit, um, hit with the level 3. And that's it. That, that's it. This is how fast those games can go. The first game already Bass be going very well. And then Sinclair not having anything of that. Oof. This is what we call the first game. As usually being called, and um, what's it called? Um, the warm up game. Yes. The scan to like know how the opponent is playing. Oof. Sinclair can smell Best's fear when it comes to like approaching. Best usually likes to go with like the chainsaw. But Sinclair is really used to that kind of cheese. And being like the strongest Eliza in AU is already like really scary. God. S facing Eliza is f scary in general, and then like having her, like jeez. But yeah, um, game three, everybody, 1-1 one, one for both of them. Going, both of them going to like go for like more of a neutral approach. Best trying to go for more beams, but Sinclair already getting in. Jeez. Oh, trying to go for the burst bait, but couldn't because Eliza has such a big hitbox. I mean hurtbox, please. Best going in with the laser beams. Going careful. Oh god, trying to go for the sweep, but Sinclair reading that. But already <laughs> best trying to escape from the freaking corner. <laughs> but Sinclair just going in so hard with the air grab already. What a scary force to be reckoned with. Going in with double assist and already able to confirm against best again. Going in with the segment assist but couldn't hit. Let's see. Oh, what? Oh my god, the sweep still like cancelled the skeleton. Jeez. That was weird. They were like on the ground. But getting back in against best. Building a lot of like meter right here. Is Singler going to like get some num num super? Maybe? No, I, uh, this might actually going to finish off. Oh boy. It might. Okay, the scaling being a bit rough. Okay, but that's going to finish off. Game two. Game three for Singler. Oh boy. It's really hard for Bass to getting out of the corner. Especially since like Sinclair is able to read like his jumping habit so nicely. She's just like a very just very offensive and scary opponent. And um, it's just very hard for best in general. Wait, it was already actually it. They already like played one game. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, best. I, I thought it was going to be like another game. GG for like both players. Oh boy. Alright. And um, with that said, it's going to be with the finals right here with Alex against Lab. B -b 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 Alex, so oh. I cannot ping you, Alex. Am I stupid? Uh, right. Uh, I can ping Lab. Is it normal, Alex? Is it like um, cause like the server or something? Wait, at and maybe like this, like this, like this. No. I cannot ping you, Alex. Wait, and Alex. I cannot ping you somehow. Sorry, Alex. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Um, oh, best. Um, please. Oh, thank you. I almost was supposed to kick you. What a gentleman. Oh. All right. Oh, so much talking. How is everybody? Is everything all right? Oh, yes, let's see. Da, 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 da. All right, there, wait, do I like, need to refresh again? No, they are playing. Yes. All right, um, Labros Alex. Some classic shenanigans right here. Both famous for their BO bands. Especially Alex. I remember Alex. He started the Bale Band craze, I think. Or maybe just me. Oh. Uh, Alright, let me just reset the score real quick. There we go. Alright, let's go. Both going in a full hard with the chair throw. And Alex already like using some time to build up some meter. Some hype. Very useful, especially with like mixing up and getting in. Lab going in with the H beam assists a bit more. And Alex finally getting in against Lab. 
due to like the already like the trade offers right there, it might also be like the death for Beowulf for Lab. But both of them blitzing in and Lab getting hits with the level one. Oh boy. Or oh, Lab finally getting in with the robot right here. Oh, escaping. Oh. It's <laughs> Lab reading the jumping level one from Alex, and this might be it. No, actually, Alex surviving and getting in real good, real hard against Lab right here. Oh, Lab getting into the corner and gets confirmed. A lot of red health for Alex, and yes, Alex switching into the big, um, big band, getting hit with the air level one, but gets caught up with the beat extend. Lab. Trying to get the rid of and getting caught off again with the jumps. Oh boy, yeah, Alex just like trying to like not overestimating. <gasps> Almost killing Beowulf right here. That was scary. Jeez. Even at the very end, you should not like play around with Lab. Oh boy. But game one goes to um, Alex. And I just realized I should have like um, swapped around. Oh boy. Um, there we go. Haha. <laughs> These mistakes probably may happen a bit more. But anyway, again, game two, Alex versus Lab. The Bale Bands. Uh, can Tiffany please get counter play? Sink are already like going with the nice advices right here. Alright, let's see. Uh, maybe it's going to be like a bit more neutral. But what I know about Bale Bands is that they're going in very hard. Yes, Lab going in with the chair for already. Trying to get already like a grip against Lab. Jeez. But Alex tiptoeing with the Wolf Blitz already. Going with the burst. Oh, okay. Already burst in. Is the safe? No, gets in with the H burst from Alex. <laughs> Alex going in with the Wolf Blitz already. And Lab eating a lot of trades with his with their bear wolf and getting finished off right there lab already be eaten <laughs> with the robo and the wolf lift shenanigans this is so crazy i usually don't see that kind of stuff happen we're by having a lot of red health oh but i was able to prevent the level one um big band super all right on ground oh is it going to hit Oh, but Alex was patient and finishes off the robo. Oh god, so much damage. Predicting the, <laughs> the jump in with the air grab and using all the hype right here to continue on building up one more bar to maybe finishing off Lab's big band. Lab trying to get his crips back in and must be very careful. Oh, but gets finished off with the wolf blitz from underneath. Oh boy, Alex taking game two again. But Alex really likes to use his, um, his high with like the wolf blitz. <laughs> it's funny to see. It's very confusing probably. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Game three. Lab maybe going more aggressive against Alex again? Who knows? No, actually, Lab going for a more passive approach with the H beam, but Alex going already in with the Wolf Blitz and <laughs> predicting it with the Crouching Light Kick into the throw right here. Couldn't connect with the H press, and Lab getting in some nice and neat damage to both of the characters right here. Alex escaping with the Air Super right here, but Lab already going in right here again. Building up some nice hype, but couldn't get in with the grab. Okay, both back in neutral, and HB caught off the Wolf Blitz, getting Alex into the corner with lots of red health, getting into the burst paint, and almost got the big band from Alex. But Lab, unless, sadly, his big band, and their big band died. But again, Lab going in with the big band and the Robo. Getting in, oh nice, following up and using a head to actually approach more against Alex. Trying to go for the reset, but couldn't follow through, going back into the neutral. Oh, oh my god, Alex actually taunted and gets in and falls up with both characters, getting a lot of red health. Oh god, if Alex is going to finish up Robo, yeah, now Blab is a bit in a trouble. 
Yes, getting in. Oh, trying to go for level one. It gets finished off. Oh no. With the free level um free oh against lab. Who? Oh boy. That was really quick. But it were all so close. Oh man with lab. Thank you for both of you guys for playing such a cool like set. Oh my god. Who? Oh, a nice support from Sinclair. That's so sweet, actually. All right. Um. All right. Um. Let's continue. We're quick. I'm sorry. And we be having Peck and Sinclair. Let's go. Let me just uh, throw it in real quick. Sinclair and Mister Beko. Very interesting. The father of all Zonas and overall, like, just strategic, like, um, keep away in general versus Sinclair, the best Eliza player in the EU. Oh, going to be very interesting. Especially how, like, Peck is going to deal with, like, segment in general. Okay. Whew. Getting some green tea right here. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Man, oh man. I never, like, commentated this intensely. But alright. Oh, actually, let me um, set up real quick. Uh, Sinclair and Mr. Beckle. Let's save. All right, and let's go with semifinals. Sinclair against Mr. Peck, going in with a more neutral approach, and finally Sinclair already getting in with Peck against the corner. This is gonna be very interesting since Sinclair knows a lot of corner resets with that kind of pressure, but Peck already going in cleanly with a crouching light kick. And follows up probably with a reset. No snapping in. Peck has been using it for like quite a long time now. And getting in with the zoning. Pinning down with the H beam. Again with double right here. Going to probably very troublesome. Getting with the card is going to hit. Both are going to hit with some nice red health. Or couldn't confirm with segment level 1 right here. Alright, almost got hit, but oh, the item drop prevented <laughs> the confirm against Peck. And it's going to finish off Mr. Peck's Peacock right here, nice and smoothly. Sinclair, oh, faking out the ship right here. And getting in with the ground grab right there. Into another grab against Mr. Peck's Robo. Oh, get, still getting hit against Segment. It's going to finish off Peck's Robo. With a nice chunk of health. Sinclair being on fire right here. And predicting another air throw. Oh boy. But again, Peg be sitting on with a lot of bars. Sinclair needs to be a bit careful with that. With another reset. Right away. Yes. And the skeleton is going to eat a lot. Oh, but couldn't confirm right here. Sinclair be eating a lot of her resources. But now getting into the neck bed. Getting in some, some nice damage. And finishing off Mr. Peg right here. Let's go, skeleton power. That's true. Jeez. Oh boy. Yeah, segment is offensive in another level, and Peck really tried to go in with that kind of measurement, especially. Oh boy. <laughs> Whew, game two. Game two. Okay. Let's see how um, Peck's going to adjust to that. Peck really, like, um, was, like, leading the first game, but now getting back into his zoning and trending, it's confirming with the item drop right there. With the H beam, probably going for an assist underneath. No, fake the, un the underneath reset right there. And, and, again, trying to fake that. It is so mean and pinpoint precise. Peck going safely into the neutral against Sinclair right here. And the skeleton eating a lot of the damage and getting a DHC. 
with the cat hats trying to go in against Pack, but with no chance right here. Oh god, Pack strategically placing in with all the shenanigans he has and finishing off Eliza in the meantime. How unfortunate. Alright, Pack not really like. He doesn't have like the urge to like go in very quickly compared to like Sinclair's double. Because Sinclair just has like, one bar compared to Cat Pack right there. Getting in with some Argus. And just getting the pace real quick. Pack not having any. And confirms with the ground throw. What a risky thing. And already going in with the level 1 and switching out to Robo right here. Ooh, alright. Let's see. Oh, finally, Sinclair like getting in with double against Robo after a while. But dropped in. Tried to go for like an air grab, but couldn't confirm. Going now with the headless and spending all of her meter to get in somehow against Mr. Pack's Robo right here. And getting in finally with the ground reset, with ground throw. Oh, let's see. Ooh. And finally getting in against Mr. Pack once more. And probably going to finish off the Robo without any meter. Try to, but was forced to burst again. Peg be zoning in so hard, and it's probably going to end with the head spin. A very rare anti air to see, but a very effective one to some extent. Peg taking the second game. Ooh. Man, I expected actually, like, to be honest, like, Peg going in, like, very hard, but Sinclair is. Really going in like very hardly, even though the second game is already taken by Peck, Sinclair has like a lot more going in. That's for sure. Whew. All right, game three, everybody. Oh my God, rifted DP already, trying to get Mac Mr. Peck into the corner, but Peck running in very smoothly out of there and instead getting Sinclair's Eliza in there. Pinning down with the H beam right there to getting into his zoning shenanigans. Sinclair trying to read but gets hit with the item drop. This is going to be a big trade off for Sinclair because her Eliza is going to be finished off right here probably. Ooh. Oh boy. Without any like crazy range assist right here, Sinclair is going to have some trouble. And her double is already getting into the corner. Into the burst bait, teleporting out. And Mr. Peck using some nice meter to getting back into the neutral. And getting in with the napalm filler into the crouching light punch. But couldn't confirm. But still, Mr. Peck just taking their time. Trying to go with the L bank. But Sinclair like, trying to confirm again with the reset. Ooh, couldn't get in very nicely and gets caught off guard with the napalm pillar into a probably finish off combo by Mr. Peck. <gasps> oh boy, I thought it actually had like to reach and sink like getting finished off by Peck. Oh boy. No. That was crazy. Oh. Yeah. Sinclair ate a lot of damage with the trade offers with Peacock. Maybe she's going to switch in with a Robo because I've heard she like practiced a lot of like Robo stuff recently. So it might be happen, maybe not. Who knows? It's going to be like a very exciting thing. One more game for Peg till his win for the set. But Sinclair still staying loyal with Eliza and Double right here. Alright, let's go for game number four, everybody. Going with Horace and trying to go in with the skeleton. Going full force. Sinclair is not having any of <laughs> Peg's garbage right here. Getting in with the grab into the corner. Trying to go in with the overhead. Yeah. And finally getting in. Thank you, QR, for the follow right here. And think they're finally getting some damage into Mr. Pack, but was able to read the reset and getting some wet health. Or couldn't actually follow up against double right here. Okay. But Sinclair like again trying to go in desperately against Mr. Pack zoning. <laughs> Just calmly blocking, going into the chainsaw. Sinclair like finally getting in with the skeleton into the neck by trying to receive some health back. And it might actually be able to finish off Robo. No, trying to go for the reset and gets it in with another neck bite. Getting some nice chunks of her health back. 
Things are getting warmed up pretty well in this set with her aggressive playstyle. But Peck trying desperately to get it um, out of her way. What a one-sided like a playstyle, both of them. Peck going in for the most defensive versus Sinclair going in for the most offensive. Oh, I tried to in for the snap out, but couldn't um, get in with the reach and get finished off. And her double only remains in the corner. Sinclair only having one bar left. And Mr. Peck with the free. With one more, like, it changes, it might also going to be it. <gasps> Into the level 3, Mr. Peck not playing by the wood, just getting in some neat damage in. Oh boy, Mr. Peck could have, like, probably gone for, like, more resets or something, but choose to use with the level 3 grab and finish the Sinclair with the level 1 Argus. Finishing off the set right about now with a 3-1. Whew. What an amazing set right there. Man, I felt like Singla got like well in into the offensive against Mr. Peck at the last game with the skeleton. It's so scary to see all the time. Oh boy. But very oppressive game for both of you players, honestly. Alright, um <laughs> let's keep up again. Man, I'm just like chugging in some green team, just like talking through and through and through. It's crazy. Wait, Peg? Already? Uh, <laughs> wait, are you guys already like setting in the things? Um, yes, Peg against Lab. Okay, let me just ping in like um, Lab real quick. Thank you, uh, um, Peg, for already like following through with all the t tournament shenanigans. For a loop, loop, um, for a noob like me, jeez. <laughs> all right, we be having. The losers finals right here. Which will decide who's going to face the mighty Alex, the Beo Bandmaster. Or at least one of them. Whew, Mr. Peck. And Lab. Alright. Going in. Ladies and gentlemen. Lab going out with the H beam, but already got cough out and getting snapped him. I think Lab is doing, um, I mean, Mr. Peck is doing some kind of like training shenanigans. Or maybe it's like some kind of like new strategy. Getting cough off guard with the crouching light medium kick. Again, against, <laughs> against Lab's big band right here. And maybe one more reset to able to finish him off? Finish them off? Oh god, I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh my god, Argus finishes off very quickly. And Lab sitting with a level with three bars compared to Lab um, Pack with only one right here. But gets caught off guard into the corner so much and getting pinpoint as well with the H beam. Oh god, what a massacre. Trying to switch in with the magnet but couldn't confirm into anything. Next, Bear will finally get it in right here. Oh. Trying to go for another reset with crouching light kick from Mr. Peck, but finally Lab getting out of this in shenanigans. But gets caught off with the Argus. Probably going to get some eating some damage from the level one laser from Robo right here. Lab be sitting with four bars. What at what cost he cannot he cannot approach at any way. Oh. What am I for? Game one to Mr. Peck. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, there's so much going on. I need to like pick a point like the most important bits because Peck is just mixing up. Peck be like snapping out the most like important things, like the most important like point characters like Labs, Beowulf, which can be very cost efficient and very hard to adapt. But we'll see in game two against Peck and Lab right here. Lab trying to get in with full split, but get caught off guard with the um, item drop already. Peck going in with the mix ups, going for a ground reset right here with the throw. But Lab using their um, bar to escaping. Alright, oh, getting read on with the air for a right array and getting pinpoint there. Oh no, and with the overhead big H item drop, it's going to finish off the bear wolf instantly. But then again, Lab is not um, is also used to like playing with Robo quite a lot, and maybe going to hit both of them. No, only Robo, but Peacock trying to confirm. 
But you're going for the cross up with the item block and finally getting in the peacock. No, but dropping it in. Oh no. Or both of them trying to get some space and finally lab going to give Mr. Peck some pressure and finishing off from the peacock right here. Exactly. Mr. Peck with three bars right here, but the lab already jumping air grab. Going to use the missile to keep up the pressure. This effect trying to go for a crouching light, um, for a crouching medium kick, but now it's going to eat all of the meter right here to give some power to some me red me um, bar. I mean, health, by the way. God, yeah, lab having like still a lot of like heads to go around. Mr. Peck losing a lot of red health and needs to respect the drone missile range. Getting lab to shut down from the robo and finishes off the robo by just dashing in. Mr. Peck, be very careful. Oh, and predicted the level 1 air super and getting in finally against lab. Both of them probably like be very nervous at the edge of that sheet. Um, see, it's right there. Into the ground grab. Getting Lab into the corner. Lab needs to do something to escape. But no, gets air We said it. it's probably going to finish off by Mr. Pack right here. Oh boy. Man. This is so crazy to see. Oh. But yeah, Pack has a really a big structure to play against Lab. For sure. But finally, Lab got to show off their Robo and Big Band mixes all around the cross, which was very nice. Whew. Okay, but game free, everybody. Let's see. Peck already going for the defensive with Napalm Pillar and going for an item drop. Lab respecting Dab, but respecting it too much and getting snapped out with the Big Band. And Pack already going through the usual shenanigans, pick pointing with the H beam right here in the item bar. <gasps> Tried to go for the war tag with Beowulf, but couldn't proceed. But Lab already being very close, but getting a lot of the combo damage right here and getting into the corner. Getting reset by the item drop. Oh, let's see how it's going to go. <laughs> Tried to go for the burst bait, but now going to eat the and the arm with the magnet from Robo. Lab B is using all the bar, trying to go for a reset with jumping HP, but Cole phone through. Oh, but Pack getting slowly back into the neutral, but Lab not having that. Like, no, sir, you're going to get war tagged into my combo into the corner. And that is going to finish off the Peacock. Chief with no hype whatsoever. Oh boy, let me building up some hype right here. Using the H beam to get some like time to get she go in and getting both of the players. Let me having two bars and getting the red health in against the parasol for sure. Mr. Pack's most powerful character probably, but who knows. Lab using the time to actually like build in some meter. Actually blocked it, but falling up with nothing in particular. <gasps> with, the, <laughs> with getting the chair back, getting Mr. Peck off guard and finishing off the Robo. And Peck already getting mixed in by Mr. By, by Lab. <laughs> and wait, this might going to finish up with the 2 meter. No, couldn't get through. But read the level 3 for Mr. Pack and got out cleanly. Tried to go for like a dash attack, but Mr. Pack eating the arm into the face. Into the face. Yeah. God. <sighs> 2 1 for Mr. Pack still, but Lab getting back into Mr. Pack's throat right here. Oh boy. Alright. But now, um, game four, everybody. Let's go. Oh my god, Lab already read the air throw and getting back into the corner, building some high with the turn very nicely. Getting back the um, the chair and with the water, getting Peacock back there, building all the hype and probably going to be able to finish off Parasol in a bit if it continues like this. Or tries to go with the Beowulf um, with the HP assist. 
But no, switches back into the robo. What a nice confirmation. Save that right there. Oh, but Peck getting in with the overhead and finally getting in also with the air reset and the low crouching kick reset as well. Finishing off the robo fortune probably with a bar? Yes, with the egrets. And switching back to Peacock, trying to go for an air throw, but gets caught off guard by Big Band. And to throw into the corner right here. Alright. Oh, try to go for the burst reset. Oh, but gets saved with the air jumping super from Beowulf. But Mr. Pack confirms very nice and smoothly from the air into his usual combos. And using a bit of his meter. And going to switch in with the Roboforge right here with the level 3, making Lab eat all the all the damage. But Lab still be sticking with the Bear Wolf and Peg with his shenanigans when it comes to zoning out, which is going to finish up Lab right here. And Lab in an unfavorable situation with Big Band and only having one bar. Is is there are they going to like parry most of the things? Who knows? But Mr. Peck already confirms not having enough bar to like do a finish off. Try to go for the reset, but Lab going for the SSJ. Lab going to carefully getting in on the Robo Fortune. But the Napalm Pella and the Ro uh, Peacock Assist is going to be very careful and finally finishes off Lab. With a 3 on, we are finishing the set for Mr. Peck. Really good games. Oh god, and we're going in with the finals. Thank you, Mr. Pack, for joining already. And of course, Alex, there we go. Just waiting for him to join in. Like, yeah, the score, for example, is like 3 1 or something. But what matters is the performance and, what clo and how close the games were in general. So. Don't get me confused when I like usually say like, oh, this was so close or something or like, oh, I'm like pity talking the other opponent. Like, I ain't gonna do that. I think it's like a bit like, like dumb to say overall. But finally, um, the finals, everybody, Alex, Beo Band versus Mr. Peck with this trio back on the line right here. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's switching on and finals everybody. Let's go. Mr. Peck already going back with the napalm assist and getting Alex a bit off his guard But confirming in into a full combo into the HB resets a bit Trying to go for the underneath fake out right here and getting Alex back into his combo shenanigans Ooh, Into the corner very slowly Oh, and confirmed with the crouching medium punch and the item drop to finish off with Agus. Just one bar. And Alex already going back with the big band. A lot of um, aggression, but Peck already ready with a nice guard from right there. Oh, getting into the SSJ and Parasol eating a lot of damage. Robo a bit as well, but Mr. Peck already getting in and trying to zone out Alex. Into the Lenny right here. Oh, but oh, but he um, he guarded with the Lenny the SSJ and confirms into his bread and butter combo right here. Not enough com um like bar to finish off. Try to go for the um um burst bait, but it just doesn't finish off. Finally, getting some damage on Parasol with lots and lots of red health. Alex, be patient and finishing off the Peacock. Finally, Ruba Fortune be having all the health back, which is already like an unfavorable matchup right here. But Alex couldn't parry fully the H beam, and Mr. Pack with the 1 0 already. Oh boy. Alex didn't have much time to show off his Beoband mix-ups, which was very unfortunate. But we'll see in game two. I mean, at one point, all the zoning out will be, be cracked. So, who knows how it's going to go. Alright, game two, everybody. Mr. Peck and Alex. Mr. Peck going in with the neutral into a Napalm Pillar and Dwight getting the snap in the Big Band. 
Ooh, but Alex finally getting in. Tries to go in with the crouching light kick, but couldn't confirm right here. Mr. Peck into the corner and getting himself out with the H teleport right here. Trying to get the pressure with the item drop against Big Band right here. And Alex trying to go in nice and clean, but taking a lot of ship damage and like poking in general in the meantime. Couldn't confirm into level 1 F um, Grendel. Who tried to go oh no gets got grabbed again and switches out again to remove the red health against Alex and big band done Alex losing one of his most precious assists right here and already getting back into the corner right there Mr. Peck only having one bar but didn't block all right, Alex finally getting through, but already gets countered by Robofort, and, and it might be it with the two bar already. Oh no! Just when Alex is going about to just going in with his mix-ups, Mr. Peck is able to surprise him and just finishes the game off with a 2-0 now. Whew! Some big games right here, folks. Alright, this might be the match point mid part for Mr. Peck, but Alex may be coming back and was able to adapt to Mr. Peck's shenanigans right there. Whew. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, getting in with the H press and getting nice and slowly. Alex was suspecting the item drop right here and finally confirms into Mr. Pack with the H press. Slowly into the corner, tries to go for a um, dashing light kick to reset once more. But Mr. Pack getting in with the ground, <laughs> the ground throw again and snapping in the bear, um, big band. Try to go for the SS change. But Mr. Peck reading it with the, uh, um, with the guard. Oh my god, and the H teleport item drop reset. What a significant way to follow up with that kind of way. Beat extend open. And <laughs> Alex going to eat some damage again, sadly. And losing his most precious assist and only once again into the corner. Mr. Peck having three bars to walk compared to Alex. And getting hit with the Argus and a level 3? Is it going to finish off? Not entirely. But Mr. Peck having a nice neutral distance. Trying to go for a ground throw, but getting hit by the Wolf Blitz. Finally, both characters getting hit. And Alex oh, couldn't continue with the BNB right here. Trying to keep up the pressure, but finally gets the command grab. And another reset to finish off the Robo, probably? No, was about to go for um, breastbait. All right, getting in some hype in and getting also into Mr. Peck's parasol with the air grab and getting to use some meter to finishing off Mr. Peck's parasol right here, which probably going to be with one meter spent. Yes, okay, only Peacock remaining. Alex needs to be staying calm and trying to keep the pressure up or else Mr. Peck is going to stay out of his measurements and finishing off with Argus and Lenny maybe <gasps> predicts the wolf blitz with the ground throw and finishing off Alex unfortunately and finally with a free oh oh my god whoo all right there we go. Yes, the reset. The break is already reset, and we're going into the second finals right here. Oof. God, gonna be drinking something. Hmm. Alright. Here we go again for the second finals right here. Nothing changed. Nothing goes on with that. And Alex trying to go in with the Wolf Blitz, but getting caught off guard once again by Mr. Peck. Oh, gets out with the sweep and the armor and gets Mr. Peck with some hype and Wolf Blitz usage into the corner. Again with the Wolf Blitz cross up and finishing off the Peacock without any meter probably. No, couldn't follow up and getting some nice damage into the parasol. Not going to be a happy birthday, but continuing to damage the, the parasol with Big Ben on the side. Alright, but Mr. Peck continue with the... 
Oh, the zoning, but gets in with the level 3 big band into a neutral statement for both players right now. Which is in favor for Mr. Peck. But Alex already caught off guard with all the dashing approaching, sadly. And Mr. Peck trying to stay out with all the shenanigans going out. Alright. Mr. Peck, all, both of them like being very safe right now. Mr. Peck rocking the four bars right here. And... Going to be safe with the DHC sniper shot level 1 and finishing off the big bang from Alex right here, leaving out Beerwolf in the open and gets caught off guard with the Maple Mines. With the level 3, it's going to finish off. No, actually, Mr. Peck dropping the combo and Alex actually finishing off Mr. Peck with no bar set. Two bars left. Mr. Peck having still a lot of bar to finish off just one. Super, never mind, going in with the level 3. And it's going to zone out. But finishes off Mr. Peck with the arm. What a nice, what nice, um, what's it called? Um, not weed. Like the, um, the, um, the H, no. The medium beam came out, out like very early. And Alex takes the advantage. One punch Alex, why going on? Oh, what a crazy game. Alright, this time Alex having the lead with one game and we'll see in game number two how things are going to go in. Mr. Peck going as usual with the napalm pillar and the sticking out and Alex with his truly key point both blitzes going in against Mr. Peck into the corner. Getting maybe some reset? No, is it going to finish off? No. Okay. Tagging out into the side again. Ooh, Mr. Peck still sticking with the peacock. X trying to go with the wolf bits once more. And finishes off the peacock. Wolf bits shenanigans. Oh, but couldn't get in. Mr. Peck with the solid guard. But trying to confirm very nice and steadily with the Mr. Peck right here. And finally gets Alex into the corner. But gets caught off guard with the sweep once again in the h press. But Alex not able to keep up all the things right here. Into... Oh, it wasn't over that? Yeah, it wasn't over that. Yes. Into level 3. Against the robot to get back into the game right here. Getting a huge amount of damage. But eating the level 3 against Mr. Peck. And it might be finishing off Alex's Beowulf. Just lost one bar building up from Mr. Peck. Oh, switched out very fast. And finally, Mr. Peck having no chance to snap him back in against Beowulf. So Alex is going to take the opportunity parrying and confirming against Mr. Peck. Having two bars in order to maybe finishing off Parasol right here. H being, being steady against Mr. Peck. And both people are going to eat everything. Couldn't confirm against Mr. Peck. But going in with the air super from Beowulf. And confirming into the Wolf Blitz. What a magnificent game. Wah! Holy moly. That was crazy. Alex going hot on fire right here, folks. Yeah, also the chat going very hot on that. God, yeah, Alex really goes in with the Wolf Blitz shenanigans when he has the taunt and whatnot and the hype. But again, maybe Peck is going to switch out some things. Tries to go for the aggressive approach, but gets already into the corner, which Beowulf just loves with Big Ben. Trying to go for the reset, and Vortex in, but what was really unsafe. Galax going to continue with the crouching reset right here, and falls up. Couldn't really follow up through against the corner, but again, crouching light kick into Parasol, finishing her off. Like, both the shenanigans from Alex right here against the Robo, but Robo can't, gets him off guard finally. Oh, but the armor gets through the sweep, getting Mr. Pack into the corner. This is so, such an opposite match to see from before. Alex just going in with all his power and might, but the sweep finishing and getting 
Alex into the corner finally. Tries to go for the sweep again, but Mr. Peck is reading that. A lot of red health stacking in. Mr. Peck is trying to finish off Alex's bear wolf. Or going in for the reset probably more. Let's see. Yeah, using some meta. Maybe switching off to Peacock probably. Yes, this is not going to finish off Alex. And we might going to see some switch. We'll see. But Alex going to use the time and baiting in with the level 1, with the taunt, but couldn't confirm with the level 3 from Big Ben. What a smart play. Really nice. Mr. Peck be trying a bit more careful, but doing the age teleport and getting into a risky and sticky situation where Big Ben is going to finish off. Robo being alone with just one bar, which is very unfortunate, especially in the corner. And Bear with already saving up with the um, chair and getting in, which allows Big Ben to finish off with a free O oh, against Mr. Peck right here. Oh my god. And the winner for the tournament is Alex. Congratulations for Alex to getting. Such a nice turnaround with such a nice tournament performance at the very end. That was such a cool, like, <laughs> maneuver with, like, the wolf blitzes. Such a creative way. I didn't even could, like, even pull that kind of stuff off. Oh my god. Alex be sticking with his status as one of the greatest Beo band players in the EU. Oh. But still, uh, such a crazy performance from Mr. Peck as well. Like, the first set was, like, really, like, in Mr. Peck's, like, favor. Alex was able, barely to going in at all. But finally, just got into his mix-ups and showed Mr. Peck what he was made of. What a nice tournament performance. Oh, the tournament is over, everybody. Boy. I thank you everybody for watching and sticking with my commentating right here. God. But man, we had like such a nice like performance from like a lot of people in general. And how about we, um, we're going to like, um, see how everybody is standing at the very end against the bracket. Uh, 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 because just winning isn't total standpoint overall let me read out the following placement for every single player right here at number 10 we have Rhina. number nine we have orion number eight big massive huge number seven is phalanx number six is best number five is casper and now the top four Sinclair taking number four space with her, um, Eliza and double. Such a scary and strong performance, especially with like a hyper armor and segment in general. At number three, we have of course the former tournament host Lab going in with Bero Robo and uh, and Big Band. Yes, almost forgot. With a nice performance against Alex and Mr. Peck usually. At number two, of course, we have our juggernaut, Mr. Peck, going in with the full team again, finally. And at number one, of course, we have Alex. Give it up for our champion for our very first Friday Night Fighting Encore. Congratulations. Whoo! God, I'm so hyped. And so exhausted. <laughs> oh. But yeah, guys. Um, with that said... I want to thank everybody who helped out with um, setting up everything and giving me some great advice with the stream and the music and also like being a, like a nice audience to like help me out to like uh, join in and whatnot into the tournament. I want to apologize again for Lumen. I'm sorry that you were a bit too late, but I need to start that stuff and everybody has their schedules. And um, overall, I hope you all had a very good time. And I would love to continue it on every single Friday. Maybe some some more Skogots community stuff in general. And I'm going to bring out some more bigger news. And going to bring in some updates and all the kind of stuff. So, um, 
yeah, with that said, um, thank you all. And I'm going to, like, um, finish off the stream for now. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, everybody have a nice evening. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!